Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily Twin Flame reading for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in four decks of cards today to connect with the energy around the feminine, the masculine and the journey. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available right now. You can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So I'm going to bring in four powerful decks. We're going to start with the Cosmic Love Twin Flame Oracle. A really beautiful deck that I created not long ago. So what's the energy around the Divine Feminine? Jump straight out, wow. The energy around the Divine Masculines today. The energy around the Divine Masculines. What are the Masculines feeling today? Around the connection within themselves and what they need to change. God, jump straight out. And the energy around the connection today. Jump straight out as well there, okay. We're also going to bring in the Twin Soul Healing Oracle. Another one of my decks because I want to connect with the lessons being learned right now. What's been learned around the Divine Feminine or what's been healed? What wounds are being released or healed for union? What's coming up to the surface? There we go. And what's the energy around the Divine Masculines? What are they learning and healing? What do we need to be aware of? And the energy around the connection itself. This is what you're both going through. Jump straight out there. We're also going to bring in the beautiful Twin Flame Journey Meshes 2 by Mystic Moon. So the energy around the Divine Feminines today, it's always great when you can see me there as well every day, I'm shuffling. The energy around the Divine Feminines, jumping out, one sticking out and then we've got cards flying on the floor. So I'm going to take them as well. And the energy around the Divine Masculines today, the energy around the Masculine, we've got one card and the energy around the Divine Feminines and the journey as well. So I feel that, you know, Feminines, this is about you connecting with the journey itself and really feeling the power of the love. So we've got two cards there. I'm also going to bring in one of my favourite decks of tarot, the Thelma Tarot. And I use this deck a lot when I'm doing personal readings. So I absolutely love this deck. So the energy around the Divine Feminine today, straight out. The energy around the Divine Masculines today, straight out. And a card at the front there. And the energy around the journey itself. Wow, sticking out the deck, amazing. And one card at the back. So let's have a look today then at the feminine energy. So feminines today, look at this, happy ever after. Happy ever after. So you are going to be in union and you know that you deserve your happy ever after. You know you do. You deserve it because you've worked hard. You've been through sacrifices. You've been through pain. And you know that the reward is your union. So, so many of you are aware that, yes, it's going to happen. You may not know when, but you trust that it will. So the angels are saying you will have your happy ever after. All you need to do is free yourself of pain. So the punish energy card comes in really around the masculines. But it's because we need to let go. Let go of the past. Let go of the blame. Forgive everything. Remember, you've grown through the pain, so free yourself of all that pain. What I'm seeing in this card here is forgiveness because, you know, if you look at the hand, it's like the hand is holding that burning hot coal. And if you hold a burning hot coal, who's that hot coal going to hurt? It's going to hurt the person holding it. It's not going to hurt anyone else. It's going to hurt the person holding it. And eventually it will get toxic, it will go into the bloodstream and it will cause dis-ease in the body. When we hold on to past pain or blame or we're not forgiving or we're resentful or we're feeling, you know, real toxicity towards the karmic partner or towards anything else, that's exactly what happens. So feminines, free yourself today of anything you need to forgive, including the need to forgive yourself and feel free. Yes, there are still lots of things that are unsaid between you, but they will get said at the right time. So let go of frustration or feeling like you're not heard or feeling like you don't matter because you do. There are still so many unsaid things between us. So this is a huge sign that, you know, there's still things to be said. That means it's not over, it's just beginning. You know, you want to communicate with each other. And you're saying, I'm doing just what I need to do right now. So this is an energy where you're going with the flow. I'm just doing what I have to do right now to get through this day. So I feel this could be a day where you do feel challenged and you do feel the struggle around, but you know you are supported and protected. 
And I feel that you may have smelt your twin recently. Now, scent is a very primal thing. And it's also a very powerful masculine trait too. So this can show you, you also operate in your masculine energy. You experience your own masculine feelings. And you've been reminded of your twin through a scent. Now that could be their aftershave or their perfume. It could be the smell of cut grass. It could be the smell of coffee. It could be something unique and special to each other. But you've been reminded of them recently. And you are saying today, you know, I can't take this anymore because I'm struggling with it. I'm struggling with the decisions. You know, you may feel that you can't handle these this waiting time because you know they've got decisions to make. And you're thinking, are they ever going to choose me? Are they ever going to put me first as priority? When's it going to be my time? When? And the masculine is saying to you, give me time. I know that you're the option that gives me peace. I know that you're the option that gives me love. And I know that you're not an option at all. You're everything I ever wanted. I'm just really bad at commitment. I'm really bad at showing you how I really feel. So this is saying you're not bad at commitment, divine feminine at all. But you also understand that you want to make sure the commitment works for the best. You don't want to commit to this love anymore if you feel you're wasting time. And I feel you're working through that energy because there's never any wasted time. The masculine is saying, without you, I am lost. So they are feeling lost without you. And the masculines need to release the past. They need to bless the past. The past is gone. It can now only be accepted. This is the path to peace. So when they need to forgive the past, when they need to let go of it, work out a plan to release it, that's when they go for their own way. So he said, I need to go my own way for a while so I can move on from the past and release what feels stuck to be able to come towards you the right way. So I'm definitely feeling, you know, if you're stressing today because they've gone their own way, maybe he said to you, you know, I had to go my own way for a while. It's because the stuck energy is lifting to create the celebration. So the three of cups energy is about reunion. And it's saying to you, you know, if you feel stuck right now, there's going to be a reunion, especially around the full moon. So the full moon's coming up soon on the 31st. You know, it's not too far away now. So our faith in the journey. And the energy around the journey is show me yours and I'll show you mine. And what I'm really feeling with that is this is coming out to each other. That means expressing you how you feel to each other. You know, you expressing your feelings and them expressing theirs. So I feel this is really about coming together in a mutual way and opening up to each other in a mutual way. It's very important that you honour your beliefs and you're true to yourself. And sometimes the religious differences between you may bring hardship in. You know, you may find it very hard to honour your beliefs if they are from a different religion than you. And you're thinking, how are we going to be together? But it's part of your mission to be together. It's part of your mission for your sole purpose and you are learning everything you need. So anything that's happening within your beliefs or, you know, your religion, things you're connected with outside of yourself, which is about society and programming, as long as you are true to yourself, you're able to honor your beliefs and it's part of your mission to show the world the truth. And it's okay to be with someone from a different religious background. It's okay to be with someone who has different morals sometimes or things aren't as they seem. I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. So you're being reminded of each other and everyone you meet. He said, I'm sorry I held back with you. I need to be more balanced. I need to release the past. So there's a releasing of the past right now in August. I feel with the full moon coming in, there's big shifts and changes. The masculine is saying, please trust me to find my way in a more balanced energy. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. I do see a part of you in everyone I meet. I understand you. It's our mission to be together, to honour our beliefs so we can be true to ourselves. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. So there is a reunion ahead. Things are changing to move this forward the right way. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.